Hey guys, um, I'm gonna do a soft spoken for two days, meatless Monday. Um, today's menu includes mac and cheese, which I made myself as well as um, some Brussels sprouts. Um, I made all this last night, this is just leftovers. Um, the mac and cheese is just mac and cheese. I have like four different types of cheese that needed to be used up in the fridge and then I put some bread, bread, bread crumbs on top and baked it um, in the oven and then the Brussels sprouts I sauteed on the stove with some olive oil, garlic, onion, and some sun-dried tomatoes, put a whole bunch of herbs and spices on there and then um, once it was fully cooked I roasted it under the broiler. So that's what I'm having for lunch today. Um, and then I also have a little treat afterwards. And to drink, I have a grapefruit sparkling ice. This is pink grapefruit flavor. And of course, my mason jar. I honestly, I don't. I don't love the taste of pink grapefruit, but I like to buy things that are pink grapefruit flavored just because I think it's a pretty color. <laughs> so, cheers. I hope you guys all had a great weekend. Um, yesterday was Father's Day and um, so to all you dads out there, or to be dads, happy Father's Day. Um, I hope you all got a chance to either call your father, or spend time with your father, hug your father, um, or just remember um, your father if he has passed. Um, so yeah, uh, yesterday we had brunch with my parents, my brother, my husband's parents, my sister-in-law, her three boys, and her husband. So, um, yeah, we, we went out to brunch, and um, I had a really delicious salad yesterday. I posted it on Instagram. It's garlic. I love soft garlic like this. Um, but anyways, we went to brunch the whole family had a really good time and then um, came home for my son's nap and afterwards the three of us went to a beer garden um, and just you know I obviously didn't drink beer but there's a playground and such and they had like these giant pretzels that of course we have to always get every time we go it was just a relaxed day Mm. And so yeah, for last night for dinner, I made macaroni, Brussels sprouts, and um, I had some um, like the Gardein vegetarian uh, chicken strips, which I um, gave to my husband, and I just had macaroni and Brussels sprouts and my son just had macaroni. So um I did a video recently talking about it was like a relationship advice video about um Long distance relationships and it was so funny because a few days later Birdo Suave Boom called me and left a voicemail he's like yo punk ass call me <laughs> so I called him back I'm like hey what's up and he was he was cute about it he was like you know I saw your video that you made and I made a video this morning kind of like 
you know, giving my interpretation of it, and he was like telling me all about what he talked about in the video, and like, he basically wanted to like tell me like didn't want me to be upset, you know, and I wouldn't have been upset anyways. I was like, no, 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 I'm like it's cool. I'm like if anything, like you're just playing devil's advocate, showing like a dude's side, you know, versus you know my interpretation of long distance relationships, and they were very different opinions as you can see and you can totally see in the comments and I told him when I was on the phone I was like there's more girls like commenting on in my comment section of that video and I'm like I bet you more dudes will comment on yours and girls will come and like attack you <laughs> sure <laughs> I was like what did I tell you mm. um but no, like, I wasn't offended in any way. I thought it was cool that, you know, he was kind of showing another perspective on it. And I thought it was interesting. I thought it was kind of cool. But it was just funny that he called me to, like, be like, Mama, I still love you. Like, I just want to let you know. <laughs> it's just like... Also, I think a lot of you guys really enjoyed the advice video, and some people asked for me to do more. So, yeah, I don't know, I guess shoot me some topics that you want me to talk about, and maybe I'll talk about it sometime. Um, yeah. I do want to talk about one thing today, though. So... Um, I haven't told you guys this, and I wasn't really planning on it, but I feel like I could help somebody by telling somebody, telling you guys. So, my, um, someone on my husband's side of the family was diagnosed with cancer. Um, I'm not going to say what kind of cancer, just cancer. Um several a couple months ago it was we found out around the same time that we did that we told them that we were expecting so it's been a few months um we diagnosed with cancer and i was talking to this particular family member yesterday at brunch because she's just been down you know, she finished her treatment, her chemo and her radiation. But she's just finding that, like, her her inner fuel tank is just kind of running, running low. And her outlook is just kind of becoming kind of dark. Um, and so I was talking to her about, you know, I guess attitude. And how to keep your how to keep your chin up. And so I want to talk about this today because you know you or someone you know may be going through something, whether it's a health issue or a school issue or a family or friend issue, a financial issue, just something in their in their life or your life that you just kind of feel like hope is you know. Hope is just kind of sifting through your fingers and the palm of your hand. Um, and I told her, I was like, you know, you have to, you have to tie your attitude to long-term values and not short-term feelings and emotions. Does that make sense? You know, you can't always act your way through 
situations and you have to see the, the, the end goal even if the end goal isn't so let me use the example so this family member her cancer is curable okay the goal of treatment is cure she doesn't have metastatic disease meaning you know the cancer has not spread throughout her body had it spread had it been more advanced stage for sure that we you know hospice would have been the only option for her because this particular type of cancer is very aggressive but she was very lucky it was caught early she didn't have metastatic disease you know her, the, the cause of her cancer wasn't um, sorry is that sorry the cause of her cancer um, uh, the etiology of her cancer um, has a better prognosis than you know the other the other variable I guess so for her it's important to see that end goal that she's going to get her life back, that she's going to rebound from this. And I don't know. I feel like for a long time she was just kind of faking things and telling everyone she was okay, she was okay, and this is fine. But then at the end of the day, like, it all kind of caught up to her and, um, she was just getting really down and depressed and sad that she couldn't, you know, spend time, you know, quality time and playing time with her grandkids and with her family and, you know, is, is sleeping a lot and is in a lot of pain and I was like, you have to tie your attitude and your outlook on life with the long-term end goal and not these short-term feelings and emotions that you're going through right now because this is just temporary. I think if you yield to your immediate feelings and emotions, you know, if you let those emotions influence how you live your life and how you, your attitude, your mind, your heart and your soul, your spirit, if you let it affect those things, then you can't, you know, you're not going to be inspired or motivated to to live anymore and I think you know obviously there's a part of cancer and disease and stuff that is morbid and and and, and you know, we're not we're not mortal we're not immortal um it, I don't know it's, it's hard to talk about like I'm spilling all over myself I just completely lost my train of thought, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, there's a part of cancer that's real and like the facts are what they are. It is what it is, but at the same time, so much of it is mental too. So you have to motivate yourself to get better. You have to inspire yourself to get better. You have to tell yourself that your situation will improve and that you will make it out of this and you'll be stronger in the end.
you know, be who you are. Don't be a person who has cancer. Don't be a person who just lost their job. Don't be a person who is failing in school or a person who was recently cheated on. Um, Don't play that role. Be who you are and see yourself in the future thriving, you know? And I know it's easier said than done because when you're in that moment, you know, no one else is going to understand what you're going through but you. Tie your values to your family. Tie your values to your friends. Tie your values to your faith. Tie your values to nature, to music, to the arts, to history, to reading, you know. Be inspired. Motivate yourself. And just get rid of any of those thoughts that interfere with your long-term values, you know? Just get it out, you know? Stimulate your mind. Stimulate your attitude, too. Do things to exercise your mind so that you're not constantly thinking in this box, but you're able to think more broadly. In my opinion, your attitude and your heart are muscles. You have to train them and you have to strengthen them to be bigger and better. You know, your heart's a muscle, theoretically and literally, being that your heart's a muscle, you have to exercise to make it stronger. But you also have to love to give love. And that means loving yourself, which is a totally different topic, but, but your mind too. You have to exercise your mind. If you don't stimulate it as a muscle, it, it's going to atrophy, it's going to shrink, it's going to disintegrate, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be stagnant and, and it's not good for anybody. It'll weaken and it will eventually die and the same thing goes for your attitude if you don't stimulate it it's going to dry up like the Sahara Desert Oreos here. They're on sale and I had a coupon. Hashtag so Korean. That wasn't a clean break, but so yeah, that's what I talked to her about, but You need to tie your values to long-term goals and long-term values rather than in the moment and short-term 
emotions and feelings. And just stimulating your mind. And do try to do things that, that interest you. Go for a walk. And go for a hike in nature. Go read a powerful book. Go to the go to the opera. Watch watch a ballet. Be inspired. Be in awe of life, I guess. Get out, even if it means getting out of your comfort zone. Go outside, be scared, be challenged. Overcome those things and then realize you did it. Like, you did it. <sighs> oh. Someone made a comment in a video that I've been more sentimental lately since being pregnant. Yeah, I'm probably right, yeah. <laughs> But I guess I'm sharing this with you because, you know, I realize that someone else may, go, may be going through the same thing. Again, it may not be cancer, it may be something totally different, but just, I guess that's my advice to you. so cliche but life is too damn short life is way too damn short to be caught up and captured by unimportant mundane tasks and rituals that, that don't matter it doesn't matter Live your life how you see it in the future. You want to be a veterinarian when you grow up? That's awesome. You want to be a doctor? You want to be a lawyer? You want to be a rocket scientist? You want to be a teacher? Who cares how much you weigh? Who cares what you look like in the mirror? Who cares if you have curves or if you don't have curves, you know? Who cares if you just ate a 900 calorie meal versus a 150 calorie one? Who cares? What about that is going to achieve you what you want down the road, you know? Who cares about what other people say about you? Who cares about how much money you make now? Those are the things that are going to stop you from being who you are and who you want to be and who you aspire and dream to become. Yeah, who cares? All right, guys, I realize this was kind of a semi-heavy video, but I wanted to bring it up there and hope that I've inspired some of you to live a better life today, tomorrow, and every day in your future, and just keep your chin up, keep your head up, whatever's getting you down, or if you have a friend or family member who's down, maybe my advice might help them and you could pass it along, I don't know. But anyways, all right, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and week, and I will see you all next time.